Hey guys, I am starting my big 14 videos in 14 days with a weekly vlog. Should have a pretty exciting week coming up, but also, um, yeah, me and Austin are just going to have a kick at the soccer ball right now, so uh, let's go, let's have a bit of fun, and uh, you. Yeah, shit. Yeah, it's fucking shit. Get in the gate challenge. Lost. Oh. It's coming. It's coming for the boys. It's supposed to be summer, ladies and gents, but it is. Uh, it's chilly. It's bloody cold. Oh, there we go. The Jaden Smith. Oh, the the hair's different now, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, someone crying at it. Where's um? Where's Peter Bread? Do you know what that is? Peter bread? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna make pizzas out of it. I just don't know where it is, mum. That's like tacos. It's like tacos and shit. Spreads, oats, cereals, breads. We're in the ballpark, ladies and gents. Pizza crust. Here we go. This is the stuff I get. Alright, so right now I'm planning for the 14 videos in 14 days. Um, a lot of people don't think I can do it, which is probably a fair uh, statement guess but I've got a lot of ideas written down so um, I'm hoping to prepare as best I can I think the second week is when it's gonna get a little bit hairy but um first week's looking strong I'm gonna try and film a couple of videos today and then yeah hopefully set myself up for the 14 in 14 um, I'm a little bit peckish at the moment it's seven o'clock and dad just said we're allowed to get grilled for tea grilled for tea guys well, that does look good. Yeah, I cooked well, didn't I? Yeah, you've done well. Come up a treat. I'm going to go to sleep now and then film the Q&A and maybe the remixing AFL songs too tomorrow. So then I'll have three videos done and dusted. So three videos done and dusted, that's only 11 to go. <laughs> oh. Before I start filming the q and I'm going to go get fuel. Because when that little light comes on, you're in a world of strife. And if any of those lights come on, which has happened a couple of times, but not today. The only exception you are. The only exception. All right, I just filled up my car and got one of these for the Q&A. So, back to the house. He's when nobody else was paying. Oh Lord. I got the crickets on. Apparently we got England Pfeiffer. So I'll chuck the cricket on. No, I've got to film the q and I'm just going to get distracted. Huge. See ya, Rudy. Just finished filming the Q&A. Over half an hour of footage I've got to cut up tonight. But that's all right. Um, I've got like 10 minutes before I have to get ready for work. Then I'll go wash some dishes and then I'll steam back down the highway and start cutting up this. All right, quick shower and now I'm off to wash dishes. So yeah, that's the other bit of work that I do. It's Thursday, I'm just about to um, start making the AFL songs remix too. And I've got a little fella with me. Come with me, mate. I'll look after you. I'll set him free and then um, I'll go work on my videos. Come on. Call me bloody Steve Irwin. I'm excited for where the vlog goes tomorrow, going to the Kiss Street Team Christmas party and we're doing a bit of karaoke, so plenty could happen <laughs> tomorrow night. But right now I'm gonna go have tea at my mum's. come for a shop in Target. Um, I've got a shirt for tomorrow night, um, the big karaoke, and then yeah, I'm gonna go and hunt for some shoes as well. I went in to buy some shoes and I came out with a shirt, so that's just, that's classic shopping, isn't it? But then tomorrow, I go to Melbourne and get on the sherbets with uh, Connor Rogers, so that should be uh, good fun. Playing someone off Instagram, um, Liam Chilcott, on AFL Evolution, and uh, yeah, play a couple of games before we go to Melbourne tomorrow. I'm just 
yeah, getting all my stuff sorted. Um, the brutal thing is, <laughs> I've got the Chrissy party for the Kiss Street team, and then at 6.30 the next day, I've got work at Kiss. It's savage, it's brutal, but um, yeah, I'll bring you along with me and you can see me mope and moan for the rest of the day. But yeah, going up, sink a few skewies and then um, do some karaoke. Got me a uh, chicken salad roll and she started putting stuff in that I didn't want, but I didn't say anything, so I've had to pick it out and that's, um, that's no way to live. Got to Melbs with C. Rog. Now, we've got to get a present for KK. Chris Kringle. Um, and I'm not very good at present picking, so we're going to set a time limit. We're going to go to other areas of the store and come back and see what we've got each. In 10 minutes time, we'll meet back here and we'll say uh, with a $15 limit what we can find. Now, I'm in the clothes part of the shop. I don't think this is the part of the shop where I want to be. This could be on, 15 bucks. <laughs> a desktop punching bag. I'm in the wrong area. I'm in the bloody pillow section. I wonder what C-Rog is up to and I wonder if he's got a better gift than what I've got at the moment. And a number one, a Peacock Fairy outfit for $12. I could do the trick. And tender number two, a lightsaber. Tender number three, and I think this might be a winner. A fry pan. I don't know whether to go a legitimate present or like a proper piss take, so you open it up and why have I got a tricycle repair set, you know, like some, some proper, proper funny. I'm back at the meeting spot and see Rog, he's got two minutes to come back. Doing some last minute roll of the dice sort of stuff. He's got a basket. I All right, set. you've got a basket. No, I've got, I've got multiple items. I'm on your help to pick the best one. All right, I went for a quick lap yeah. and found a, a, desk, oh, a desktop punching nice. bag. You know what, that's a good present though. Yeah, it's something a little bit silly. Like, I thought I would, yeah, see that's not a piss take. Like, that's just a genuine, like, that's a good present. If you're angry and you're just at the office, just... Yeah, that's really good. I'll show, good nights. I'll show you my number one contender. This is one I think most likely. What have you gone with? Well, actually, you know, for the sake of, like, <laughs> entertainment purposes, we should probably leave the best to last. Yeah, very true. First up, a lightsaber. Yeah, I like that. So I might open that up and have a great time. Um, I also thought a peacock fairy outfit, costume. Yeah, that's funny. Just because I don't know what a peacock fairy is, I thought that was nice. <laughs> um, a tennis racket, I think that'd be funny to wield around a bar. That was one of the last minute ones over there, I thought, <laughs> yeah. let's just add one more item to the basket. And I think a genuine winner, a, a frying pan. Yeah, that's funny. You like the frying pan? Yeah, I do. Alright. So a frying pan and a desktop punching bag. Beautiful. Good. Rubbing a frying pan. Not sure how this will go, but we'll find out. The Chris Pringle King. Do you reckon I'll be able to tell it's a frying pan? Ah, uh, yeah, one hundred percent. Have you locked in the song you're gonna go with at the uh, at the karaoke? Ricky Martin, Living La Vida Loca. <laughs> I like that. You like it? What's yours? I still reckon a, a teenage dirtbag or something. Yeah, that's a classic. I still reckon. Can't go past it. I might go down the rap genre though. Mm. I, I don't know. I'll see where the night takes me. I mean, I don't want to do an all-time, like, the genuine classic. Like, the go-to is Mr. Brightside, isn't it? Yeah. But I feel like that's too generic. Everyone would do Mr. Brightside. But you're a massive Killers fan. Oh, I'm the biggest Killers fan. I have to work at 6.30am tomorrow. And who's giving you a lift in, Dossie? Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, good see, Rog, he stood up. He said, I'll give you a lift. I'll be on the front line. <coughs> A bit of Mac is drive through on the way. There's sausage McMuff and a hashy beat. That's going to be a dusty ride to work. We're trying to find the venue. We're going to be the first ones there, apparently. Yeah, a few people are running late, so... That's alright, that's alright. That's alright, that way, when everyone walks in, we can do the hello. Yeah. We don't have to walk in and yeah, do like, a sort of Like, we've really set ourselves up. Yeah, we don't have to do the old individual hello when you walk in and there's a group of 20 people there. That's always awesome. building over there. Oh, we found it, and we're we just could, about yeah. to get there. We're on. Bit we're of karaoke. Considering we're the first ones there, Kados mentioned we might attempt to finish the bar tab before yeah, anyone we'll... else arrives. You've taken me out to the uh, the outskirts of Melbourne. It was Lukey that got us out here, and then he just ditched us. Oh, our Uber's here, right here, like in front of us now. The Toyota camera, here it is. All right, we're on. 
We're home and hose. Oh, we'll both go in the back. We'll both go in the back. You go around the other side. Happy days are here to stay. 2am, the next cut scene you're going to see. Yeah, we're going to be rising and grinding for work. Good morning. Good morning. I can't believe this has happened. I really can't. I, I can't. We, went, we went to bed two hours ago. I can't believe this is what I signed up for. I feel like <coughs> f***ing <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, the birds are chirping. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> Rise. I hate this so, so much. <laughs> Rise and grind for the boys. Uh, We're just taking it. Uh, He's taking a red right there. Did you get that on camera? Yeah, I think I did actually. <laughs> Black bailing for his money, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, green. Get away for the green kids. Yeah, that's right. See, Rogie's, uh, he's got to be the master of ceremonies at an event today at 12, and the voice is struggling. I've lost my, I've lost my voice on the karaoke <laughs> during Ricky Martin. I think that's the moment it's gone. I think it was Liver La Vida Loca. We, uh, we started to hear the voice drop off a little bit. <clears throat> and I quite literally, in a very public space, need to get everyone very excited using my voice, so that's going to be a struggle. That's S all right. Some of the dustier characters you've <laughs> ever seen in your life, I feel so subpar, but... It's what it's all about, you never remember a night in. It's not about who wins the war, it's about the battles that took place. Now we're here, <laughs> the rice and the grind. <laughs> Have you ever seen a more dusty bloke? And there's no um, there's no cake in the <laughs> Yeah, we're, the we're, kitchen's not home. <laughs> we, we beat in the kitchen. Got me OJ, just uh, polished off one of the uh, more ordinary short black breakfasts. That was like deplorable. <laughs> that wasn't great. We were so excited and it was so average. The, uh, the kitchen was not open, but um, See, Rod, you're nearly back to bed, mate. Oh, I'm going straight back to bed. I'll make myself a toast and Vegemite when I get home and be more nourished than I want to be. <laughs> and now I'm off to uh, Hopper's Crossing, so <laughs> I don't know what's in store for me there. but uh, Enjoy, gonna... Dossie. Enjoy. I will, mate. I'll Try wait. and make the most of it. That is a bloke going straight to bed. See you, mate! Just finished the shift. The client was happy, the people were happy, it was good vibes, good times. And now I just want to eat some bed and sleep on some food or something. Well guys, it's been a pretty good week. I've uh, tried to prepare myself for the 14 videos in 14 days as best as I can. So we'll see if I can smash the challenge or not. But yeah, I just want to say I appreciate you guys watching this video and I will see you the next 13 days in a row. Cheers.